Sup y'all, bring you guys another video. So to those who didn't know, Sergio Martinez recently fought over in Spain against Mikulay McEwen. McGowan, McGowan. I apologize if I'm mispronouncing the name. I'm pretty sure I am butchering his name. But anyway, they recently fought over in Spain. Fight went the distance and Sergio Martinez ended up winning the fight by unanimous decision. Before I get more into the video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing and please hit that like button. It helps out the video. It helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So, like I was saying, the fight went the distance and Martinez won the fight by unanimous decision. All three judges had it in his favor. 99, 89, 99, 89, 98, 90. All in favor of Sergio Martinez. Uh, he was also able to score knockdowns in round number 7 and round number 10. Um, I honestly did not see the full fight, I just saw highlights of it. And based on the highlights, it, it did look like Sergio Martinez won the fight. But uh, it looks like McGowan, McGowan uh, definitely had some moments here and there. Uh, Martinez looked good for somebody in his you know, 40s. Uh, 46, I believe, right now, 46 years old. He looked good for a 46-year-old, but obviously you can tell that uh, the legs are not what they used to. You can still see that the knees are probably still giving him problems like he did, uh, like he had when he fought Miguel Cotto back in the day years ago. Uh, but for a 46-year-old, not bad if you ask me. Um, can he beat the top fighters at 160 pounds? Eh, maybe not, but still for a 46-year-old, not so bad. And with this win, Sergio Martinez improves to 55-3. and three. Two draws, 30 wins coming by way of knockout TKO. He's up there in the rankings, so those don't know. I think he's ranked number four by the WBA. So I think he's trying to get the title shot against the WBA champion in the future. Um, he did say that if he loses, he will retire. Uh, so, you know, once he loses, he will retire. Right now, he's currently in a four-fight winning streak since the Miguel Cotto fight. He fought twice in 2020, fight, fought once in 2021, and fought once so far this year. And so far, he's been winning all those fights. And it seems like, you know, he has a, a big following in in, in Spain. Uh, after all, that is his second home. Um, and I guess he's going to keep fighting there until he probably gets a title shot or until he loses. I think, I think at least that's what I think. And like I said, for a 46-year-old, not bad. But you can obviously tell that he does not have that legs that he used to. Uh, prior to, I think it was the Chavez fight when he injured his knees. And that was back in 2012. Can you believe it's been 10 years now? <laughs> We're going into 10 years since the Chavez fight. Man, that was an insane fight. I mean, those, it was a one-sided fight until that last round. It was an insane last round. I'll say that much. So, anyway. Martinez, you know, if he wants to keep fighting, he will. And I think he will. I think he'll fight at least at least one or two more times this year. And uh, I'll keep you guys updated on who he fights next. As for Makulay Makulay McGowan, again, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm butchering his name. He's almost 20 years younger, man. He's 27 years old. He's 19 years younger than Sergio Martinez. Dude, if you're going to lose to a guy who's old, old enough to be your dad, yeah, it's, it probably shows that you probably ain't cut out for this, man. Um, like I said, based on the highlights that I saw, McGowan looked like he had moments, but obviously, if you're going to get knocked down by an old man, come on, bro. Uh, yeah. McGowan ain't, he's going to be cannon fodder in the future. He's going to be, he's going to be hired for somebody to beat up. Um, I mean, he's going on three losses in a row now, which are his only three losses in his career. Um, but yeah, uh, he had moments, but can't even beat an old Sergio Martinez. So, <laughs> maybe he should uh, reconsider what to do next in his career. But we'll see. We will see. Anyway, good job to Sergio Martinez on the win. And if you did see the fight, let me know. What did you think about it in the comments? Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And like always, have a great day. All right. Thanks.